the new Control DLC that came out just today. I am looking forward to playing it. It's supposed to have some uh, Alan Wake connections um, from what I have seen, which I'm really into. Um, I didn't like uh, Alan Wake American Nightmare so much, but um, I really like the overall lore. How do I put it this way? I didn't like the gameplay of American Nightmare, but Alan Wake in, in its entirety, I've, I've liked. So, um, and combine that with the world of control, and I'm, I'm, I'm in. So let's see. Uh, I might have to adjust the settings just a little bit to for running while I'm streaming. Let's see. Yeah. Um, display medium two x. All right. Uh, it's still not running great. Alright, um, what was that mission? Sector elevator. Alright. It's this way? Yes. There we go. I just finished the other DLC pack uh, the other day, Foundation, and that was pretty good. Uh, had some really good lore in there. Contain. Okay, Central Executive. Okay. Sector elevator? Oh. He's got new dialogue. Okay. The emergency rations don't include. Man, I never thought I'd be working in the executive sector. Look at me now, Ma. Alright, that's the same so far. So, what's the situation in my bureau, Arish? The situation is we are still up to our eyes in his. Not to mention the months of repairs it's going to take just to get this place up and running again. But is it doable? Of course it is. You just might need to tell some rangers to grab a wrench once they're done hunting his. Uh, I'm going to see if I can change the capture. Because it looks like it's having issues with the way I'm doing it right now. No, it won't let me do it any other way. So I guess it is what it is. I'll see you later. You know where I'll be.
Okay, that's the sector elevator, right? Yeah. Best to get the sector elevator. Darkness engulfed the elevator. Oh. Ooh, Alan Wake. Something there. Reaching for her. You did. To make her act. It was a distress call. Phaeton sensed a drowning man. A hunger in the dark. Investigation sector. Investigation sector, huh? We should check this out. Oh, so Alan Wake uh, has got this typewriter and basically whatever he types, whatever he writes with it uh, can end up becoming true. And right now he's trapped in a place fighting like a entity of darkness that's, I believe it's trying to escape. I've It's been ages since I played Alan Wake, but... That's, I believe that's how it goes. Um, investigation sector, here we go. Hello? Anyone here? Guess not. All right, got some stuff to look at. Missing agents. Mr. Kirkland, release agents confirmed missing. Presumed dead from the containment breach yesterday. List of names. Uh, letters of condolence will be delivered to you to sign prior to sending them to their families. Update as soon as additional confirmations are made. Uh, also, per your request, a network engineer checked how many cases were backed up digitally. Unfortunately, a large number of active investigations were not archived yet. Uh, okay. Seems a lot more crowded than the rest of the bureau. Darling investigation. Per authorization from Mr. Kirkland, internal investigation was launched into the ethical practices of Dr. Casper Darling, head of research. Despite accounts of anonymous blank regarding inhuman treatment of a blank currently housed in the Bureau, our official findings regarding this were inconclusive. Numerous obstacles arose during the investigation. The majority of blank sector personnel seemed to be wholly unaware of any such blank contained there. One blank confirmed the blanks, codenamed to be blank, but all files pertaining to the name were inaccessible being classified under the highest clearance level. Investigators who are similarly blocked from entering the blank research wing to interview its staff. The matter was further complicated by the lack of clarity on whether non-human paranatural entities warrant humane treatment. While this investigation cannot address any charges against Dr. Darling, we do recommend an investigation into blank research. Darling was up to no good. Uh, Casey Inquiry. Mr. Dennis, as requests came through recently from FBI agent asking for all of our files on Bright Falls, specifically on the disappearance of the author, Alan Wake. Per the interagency information exchange agreement, I had some paper pushers gather up a folder of all the pre approved files. Don't worry, all the inappropriate material is either missing or redacted. But I'm right to let you know that we received this request from special agent named Alex Casey. Excuse me. Sound familiar, right? That's because Alex Casey is the name of the fictional detective in those hard-boiled crime books Alan Wake wrote. Pretty interesting that an FBI agent sharing a name with the most famous character Wake wrote is looking into a case dealing with the writer's fiction coming true. I think this is look, worth looking into, but what's your opinion? Just give the word and I'll start surveillance on this guy. Oh, I got some uh, new um, hotline. I assume it's from Wake, yeah. Darkness engulfed the elevator. There was something there. A presence. Jesse Faden could hear it. 
a call. It was faint. Reaching so sometimes these are the same as what you see in gameplay, and sometimes she had them all the these are more like it is now. And the previous director. She was the perfect receiver. As if she'd been made for this. Faden paused to feel it. The force at play here. It was changing things around her, subtle, trying to make her act. Faden didn't like that. Her guide felt it too. Polaris didn't flare up in defense as with the hiss. So it wasn't all bad. Not a hostile transmission. It was powerful, but it was coming from far away. And made weak because of the distance. It was a distress call. Faden sensed a drowning man. A man desperate to escape. She sensed something else, too. A hunger in the dark. Not unlike the hostile resonance. Waiting. She knew that desperate acts can have grim consequences. It was this, more than the man's despair, that made her follow the call. The elevator lights winked back on. The darkness receded like a memory. There was a new button on the elevator control panel. Investigation sector. Faden pressed the button. The elevator door slid shut with practice bravado. Alright, cool. Uh -huh -huh. Alright, let's see. That's powered up, so that tells me... Ooh, there's lots of files around. I'm digging it. Tractor supplement. Uh, miscommunication led to a local coroner examining the body of William Burrow. Uh, 30 year old man, 33 year old man found dead on his property per police report. Uh, yep. Blood. F uh, my opinion that Mr. Burrow's death is not the result of a mechanical accident. As claimed by authorities, the removal of organs is consistent with an animal attack. Resignation letter. To whom it may concern, it is with great anger and regret that I tender my resignation as head of investigations of the Federal Bureau of Control. I do this in protest of the rampant disregard of my department. Mince blank. My staff cannot continue to work in these conditions. Previous requests and warnings have fallen on deaf ears, so I must now rely upon my actions to speak louder than my words ever could. Blame the situation on our blank, who has routinely ignored our my request for assistance in reclaiming the parts of the investigation sector lost to the blank loose inside. I will never forget the screams of brave agents begging for us to open that fire break. I will carry that shame for the rest of my days. The blank has failed its agents. I shall never forgive him for that. Dude, am I magic? Why is that? Oh, kind of? Yes. Um, I have abilities. And also I can do this. But yeah, so she's kind of magic. <laughs> yes, I, I'm, I'm a little bit magic. Uh, staffing issue. Uh, Mr. Das. Increases in AWE cases, and yes, it would be a good idea to put together a special task force to examine exactly why that is. However, it seems a tiny little detail slipped through the cracks. We don't have the damn staff. You expect us to detect, investigate, and process more AWE cases. You need to give us more people. It's simple math. Between the staff we lost in the Hartman thing and the ones who left for the other departments uh, after Kirkland quit, we we're barely managing to keep up with the workload. Hell, just filing the paperwork for all the altered items we left behind in the sector has been an ordeal. Another thing, it's going to sound uh, paradoxical, but we have an overcrowding issue. This lobby isn't meant to accommodate a whole sector's worth of staff. We put forward a motion to move investigations to a more suitable location months ago. Better not be still sitting on your desk. The people are getting restless, and as Kirkland's interim replacement, it's your job to handle it. 
Yes. Uh, this is... Uh, this uh, department basically... Uh, it's part of the government, uh, but the government basically, for the most part, doesn't know it's even a thing. Um... Chief Investigator Dennis, it happened again, third time this year, something certainly happened. Could be raccoons, locals certainly complain about them enough. Why the hell would raccoons keep going after a monitoring station? Doesn't add up. Anyway, uh, Lake House Research Station, how am I supposed to effectively keep eye on blank lake if they won't let me see any data? Hell, I don't even know what they're researching out there. We need a to petition them again to share their info with investigations agents. It's only a matter of time before this blank hits again, and I want to be prepared. Anyway, if anyone at HQ asks why the Bright Falls report is a little thin this month, tell them it's because we couldn't take any readings. In the meantime, I might investigate in some raccoon traps. Uh, I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, most of their games uh, have a similar perspective to it. Uh, I mean, like, uh, Max Payne is a little more zoomed in. Uh, there is a lot of lore going on in here. Underhill background. Dr. Raya Underhill is a purchaser. Ba -ba -ba. Research sector, old the oldest house. No known connections to... Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay. Jeez. Uh, director investigation. Launch director. Trench. Aggressive when blank. Other staff. No between between Trench and Darling. Both clean. Uh... Okay. Is he an astronaut? Of your service to the Bureau. I love the symbol is the uh, so that triangle is a uh, symbol for the board, which is like this uh, cosmic entity that works with the Federal Bureau of Control. Uh, growing tired of your blatant attempts to lay your incompetence on my doorstep. Um, I know you want this to be true, but you are the head of investigations. This failure is your responsibility. What did you think would happen holding a dangerous specimen in investigations? The containment sector exists for a reason. They are better trained and better equipped for this type of work. In fact, they have admirably taken a certain AWE monitoring responsibilities that your staff are no longer capable of. This happens more and more now. And don't think your petty in internal investigations have gone past my notice. You are a worm. Everything I've done has been for the benefit of the Bureau the Prime Candidate program only failed because of Darling. You are both failures plotting against me. You are traitors, but the truth will emerge out of you. You are choosing to become my enemy, Kirkland. You don't want to be. Uh, Trench, the former director. So only the directors of uh, the oldest house can use this uh, special uh, weapon. I forget what's called. The issue... Is issued something and um, it I don't need that uh, basically can do all sorts of nonsense yeah. ethics investigation per authorization from mr. Kirkland internal investigation prime candidate program Use... Uh... Oh, there's a new battery. Okay. Trench. 
tractor procedures. <laughs> Item is not in Bureau custody. None known. Um, a Frank Elk tractor, olive green, dried blood on the grill when last seen. Item is capable of vocalized responses or growls and unmanned locomotion. Considered highly aggressive and dangerous. Background. The item first came to the Bureau's attention after the death of William Burrow, owner of Burrow Farm outside of Trenton, Texas. Local authorities arrived on scene after the employee found the mutilated body of Mr. Burrow beneath the tractor. Police arrived but were immediately driven away by the tractor. Panic calls to federal authorities were intercepted by Bureau communication staff. A team was dispatched. Upon arrival, the agents approached the item. It responded by growling like a bear. Three agents were injured when they tried to detain the item, which escaped. Aerial searches for the item are ongoing. Speaking to Mrs. Burroughs only revealed that she had a domestic altercation with Mr. Burroughs earlier the night of the incident. Where these events are connected is currently unknown. Okay, enough of that. Keystone inspection. Stopped at Keystone on our way to the target WE. Like you asked, I'm sending my report directly to you. I don't any sign of them there. Given the records, it's possible to switch teams like you suspected, but I don't think that's the case. An event definitely occurred here in Keystone. I think Grumman and Morales got caught up in it. The entire population has vanished into thin air. Uh, reminds me of the ordinary case. That was just the adults if I'm remembering the file correctly this is different I think our guys are casualties not traitors but if it was a, it was an AWE it seems to be over we walked through the whole town and only strange thing we noticed were markings on various buildings two at overlapping circles with a dot in the shared space could be unrelated I'll show you the pictures when I get it. go back huh don't know if I've seen that yet in the meantime, you should send a team out here to cordon this place off. Oh, I'm gonna have to disconnect that battery. Probably a loose power core somewhere. Actually. There we go. Now that gate should open. Anything else over here? No. Let's head office. Okay, let's go. Couple more documents. Specimen escape assessment. Purpose of internal investigation examine the containment failure of the specimen, result in the deaths of blank agents, uh, an inspection report of the containment equipment three days earlier, no faults, human error to the cause, yet no department has provided any evidence to support this. Researchers note the specimen, internal network, the blank blank specimen began displaying sharp increase in aggressive blank, cross referencing that. Date with various logs, only found two events. Air filters were changed. An hour prior to the incident, a civilian named Alice entered the sector regarding an unrelated investigation. Given their connection to the same AEW case, it's likely that Miss Blank's presence is relevant to the specimen's escape and to the blank investigation ongoing. Alice. So they have to. I'm no detective, but something definitely happened here. Yeah. Uh, so we got loose on the other side of this sector, and they had to hide in this part. A group of individuals has operated outside the Bureau's notice for decades. 
skill and caution really seen in paracriminal groups. A review of past cases have found various mentions of their activity over the years. In 2016, a production company called The Blessed Pictures was connected to an altered item case, as well as the death of an agent from exposure to illicit paranatural materials. In uh, 1994, a Los Angeles-based public speaker named Chester Bless was involved in the illegal use of an altered item. In 1988, a business called Blessed Repair and Service was suspected of involvement with an object of power case, perhaps even creating it. None of these businesses or individuals have ever been located. However, their connections, appearances of altered items, and objects of power is too direct to be considered circumstantial. An arrest order has been issued for any persons believed to be involved with the Blessed Organization. You. They showed uh, up in some notes uh, for uh, in the previous DLC. Time to go. Do we know each other? I feel this feels familiar. I can't seem to. I, I've forgotten. I, I'm sorry. I'm. My name is Alan Wake. Friend Tom. Tom Zane. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing to worry about. Tom. The poet. The diver. You, you look different. That was just a, a role. A character. The protagonist I played in my, my old film. I'm a filmmaker. An old terror like yourself. We're working on this together, remember? An artistic collaboration. You need a drink. Night Springs. Just we got save Alan Wake. That was Alan Wake, the writer who went missing in that AWE case I read about. What's he doing here? I like um, the little detail that she there's dialogue Zane if you've perfect. picked up the the poet. No, wait, D -d he was a filmmaker. I I always remember that wrong. Um. That she there's dialogue if you picked up um, the notes and whatnot. Nice little detail. All right, so you gotta do a little puzzle. Going on. So. Radio is on in there. T 
TV's off in there. TV off. Radio off. Is that correct? What else? Anything else? Missing something. Oh, oh, well. Key. Dr. Lemieux Hartman, devoured by hungry darkness, became the thing that had been Hartman. Broke loose, killed everyone it could, lurking, roaming, waiting. Then something else came a resonance. The thing that had been Hartman went through another change. Nothing that had been Hartman. Time to go back. Oh, it's just open now. Well, uh, can I make it over there? not gonna open up. I'm assuming this isn't either. But I wanna try. Alright. Ooh, there's blood. Oh, that's a bad way to go. I'm going to check the stream on another device just to see how it looks. Because it looks bad on my computer. But I don't know if there's much I can do about that. Because it doesn't want to... doesn't want to capture this game in on any other way than what I'm doing, unfortunately. And I don't know why. Yeah, it kind of looks rough. Oh, oh well. What's well, going to have to do for now? I don't want to keep on just messing with the uh, settings. Ooh, box. Doesn't look like a house shift. Do I even want to know? Okay, that's nice to know. Alright. Well, 
let us get clear out some mods though so um Let's go with that. Filing and processing, we've got enemies. Kidnapping of, kidnapping of altered items, sanctions against altered organizations, obstruction of your investigation, breaching in act, the Ash Act. I don't remember what that is. Uh, and wake possibly deceased. Hart, Emil Hartman. That was uh, talking about the axe from Alan Wake, I do believe. Alright, uh... I knew it. Door. Okay, fine, fine. gossip at night and now I have to wear shoes to bed sincerely me okay anything else in here I don't see anything whoa Ooh. looks like the house has gotten a little wild in here Service tunnel, okay. Ooh. Ooh, that's bad. This darkness is blocking the door. So now I have to deal with an interdimensional noise and sentient shadows. Light burns it away, huh? Makes sense. Ooh, more. Okay. I 
I'll set one of these up. Uh, I don't want it to be. What do you... Fine. Fine, I'm taking you with me. Oh, mold. Okay. The evil, evil mold. That's all... Oh, wait, no. something in some other of the levels, so try it. Hartman, he said baby, baby, yeah, yeah, orange feel. So I noticed my flashlight stopped working. Let's see, let's see, let's see. The third thing. Operations. The third the thing. Darker, the darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched like a worm through time. The third thing was a monster. Now we crashed out of darkness toward Phaeton. Eagle Limited Summary. <laughs> Train de uh, derailment resulting in 62 casualties and numerous injuries was suspected to have been the work of a paracriminal group known as Blank. As a result of this event, the agents discovered that one of the cars had become altered with a persistent auditory event. Excuse me. It remains to be determined whether the AWE was spontaneous or the direct result of the sabotage. Fear had been tracking said group at the time and the intel gathered suggested an event of this caliber was imminent in the Bloomington. As a result, a response team on the site was able to respond to the train accident site within minutes of its occurrence. They arrived to find emergency processes underway, but also equipment left behind by the suspected group. The suspicious onlooker managed to elude agents after they attempted to make contact. Uh, curiously undamaged train car. The shadow. 
supernatural entity, aka the shadow, is an aggressive blank consisting of three known types. A type, localized manifestations of sentient blank capable of occupying organic and inorganic material as well as exerting blank over its surroundings. Type B, shaded individuals, human bodies blank by shadow. These individuals become notably more aggressive but do seem to retain blank of their previous selves. Research is ongoing as to whether this condition is reversible. Type C, a shaded objects, similar to type B except that inanimate objects are blank solely to be used as destructive tools. Each type seems to work towards a shared goal, perhaps targeting certain individuals, which may imply a shared link to a blank intelligence. Um, yes, that's right, it's called the shadow. My understanding of the darkness is fragmented, incomplete, this abyss, this void, it very much does not wish to be understood. If light symbolizes knowledge, then it stands to reason that darkness would equate to ignorance. By its very nature, it abhors comprehension. Of course, my own nature drives me to comprehend all. We are opposing forces, destined to collide. Given this conflict of natures, oh. we know that the light of truth will burn away darkness, both figuratively and literally. I figured they it seems like they didn't expect me to have a flashlight. Even weaponry against this metaphysical blue. Then there are the artists. I know for a fact that Tom, Wake, the Anderson brothers, and Lane all had some involvement with darkness. The question is whether their uncanny ability to affect reality through their art beckons the darkness or did their work perhaps even create it. There's weight now secure in my lodge. I expect I shall grow closer to learning the answers to these questions. Assuming he cooperates, which is proving quite the challenge. Well, perseverance is the foundation of Alright, let's explore before I start things up. Boy, it is dark in here. Black market. Black market hub specializing in the trade of occult talismans, relics, and uh, as well as genuine altered and paranatural materials was raided in Czech Republic. Team of special investigations. Concern is threefold. The growing underground market for paranatural materials, which implies a growing awareness of their existence among a niche group of the general public. These criminal individuals do not seem to be aware of the item's paranatural powers, and their attempt to activate them could prove devastating if done in populated areas. Motivations of these collectors are largely unknown. Uh, actually, uh... I'm going to watch that hotline after this next journal. NASA Cooperation Review. Uh, the Bureau has provided NASA with numerous technological advancements based on our research, including the black rock lining now find, found in all space fairing vessels. In return, all data gathering during the space missions is made available for Bureau researchers to analyze. Recently, a certain individuals have raised the concern that this relationship does not adequately benefit the Bureau, either intellectually or financially. A thorough uh, examination of the costs accused crude by both organizations has shown that the expense of NASA's recent launch of the blank far outweighs any expending uh, related to the processing and delivering of BlackRock. From its medium Earth orbit, the blank will provide the Bureau with unparalleled resource for remotely monitoring and photographing AWE sites, a resource that would be lost if the partnership ends. In the opinion of this committee, that maintaining a cooperative relationship with our colleagues at NASA is of vital importance.
Oh, I forgot to check out the... Ooh. Reminder, all employees are required to report their hours at the end of each month. The Federal Bureau of Control maintains that time is not subjective, and hours passed on alternative planes cannot be claimed. Astral dives do not accumulate overtime compensation. Thank you for your attention. Agent Fisher, day six inside the motel. Utilized surveillance methods are as follows. Fiber optic cameras slid under the individual room doors. Motion detectors in the lobby area. Tripwire, triggering a flash camera across the main entrance and giving the fingerprint powder on the front desk. Results are varying at best. But mostly just... inconclusive and unusable. The footage is corrupted. Sometimes even the equipment is damaged. So I don't know how, exactly. I, uh... I think this place is making fun of me. That's the only explanation. I, I can hear them laughing and screaming behind the closed doors. I could hear the call bell going ding multiple times a day, but when I look, there's no one there. I know I'm supposed to stay out of sight, but I've, I've seen the doors closing just before I can catch even a glimpse of anyone or anything. They're messing with me, whoever they are. I think, wait, shh. Fiber optic. Fuck. Cooperate. Okay. There we go. All right. That was faint, but I definitely heard movement coming from the hallway. I think I might have finally caught one. <laughs> the recording better work this time, or I swear to God, I'll... what? Hello? Who's there? Oh, shit. I'm with the FBC. Move away from the door. I have a... Where's my... Huh. That's kind of distressing. Interrogation complaint. Um, because I did the thing I was fucking hired to do. My job... Want to know what I call that bullshit? Asking us to interrogate these scum without using words like altered items or AWEs or paracriminal is the stupidest thing I've heard of in my life. I've heard some fucking stupid things. They're already they already know the facts. Hell, they know just as much as us, if not more. And they got to sit there laughing at us while we dance around our words, trying not to leak classified terminology. They already know the fucking terminology. If you think pulling me off the case will stop me, then think again. That piece of shit blew up those tracks. He killed those people all to make the train turn altered. We have them dead to rights, and you need to let me back in that interrogation cell so I can get him to flip on his buddies. These people are terrorists and deserve to be treated as such. This won't stop unless we stop them. You can go ahead and put me on suspension if that slows me down. See if that slows me down. Ooh. A little uh, quest stuff. The plans in here have died standing up. Lighten them up. Ah, more plants. Alright. Let's go make some new friends. Oh, okay. Mold sit. It's no cool for you. Headache, nausea, odium, depression. Oh, okay. Get rid of darkness. Darkness everywhere. New day, same old bloody city, said the old man. Like dark but food for nothing. Get rid of it. Make that my main, and I'll take care of the other ones as I go. Okay. Uh, let us go through 
here real quick and time to power stuff up. Ooh. That guy's just a ranger, but why does he have like an astronaut helmet? Tell me these guys are going in space. Is there any plants around here? There's like a battery rack there. Generator, need a power cell. Power cell. I assume this isn't going to work. Oh, it does. Okay. Spring screenplay. Uh, 
secret lab. We are in a secret lab. Lunch sign reads the Federal Bureau of Night Springs. The being is beyond the portal. We have no control over it. Screenplay was found after Bureau acquired the Night Springs television series and all of its past episode scripts. It appears to be written by Alan Wake as part of an application to become one of the show's writers. Over the threshold, darkly. Oh, there is. Oh, jeez. Alright, I need to go back to get more power. Of course. Real messed up. But why does he look like that? How do you like that? All right, now there's a bunch of stuff to check out. Hartman background. Honda <laughs> Opera Cover Center. Creative blocks and other mental disorders. Publicly, Doctor Hartman's research. Uh, unremarkable legal endeavors were conducted alone after being pushed during the display no remorse or intention to cease his actions dr hartman was taken into custody evaluated and released blank months later having been deemed negligible threat his medical license has been permanently revoked Oh, there is something over here. Brian Hennerman, 21 years old, resident of Southern Texas. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I really don't understand why I'm here. You know what you did, Mr. Hennerman. I do? Tell me about the movie disaster. The movie? I don't. I mean, it wasn't very good. That's not what your review said, but we'll come back to that. Tell me where you got the movie from. Movie night. With a, you know, okay, not an end. Not, not night, like nighttime, but... Who contacted you? Who told you to review that film? No one. I just did it because it looked obscure. I didn't even like the movie. I should have given it such a high score, but reviewing obscure films was too smart. And I thought if I looked smart, I would get with it. My podcast would take off, and I could move out of my parents' basement, and maybe even go to college and get a film here like I've always wanted to. I swear. I swear, I swear, I swear. Uh, okay, the kid doesn't know shit. I'm ending the session. Searching to the Ocean View Motel and Casino discovered a previously unseen door in the lobby hallway. This door featured a spiral shape marking designation door blank, similar to the other doors, is locked and cannot be forced open. Alice Wake, a person of interest in Bright Falls AW, referred to AW35, and former wife of the missing author Alan Wake, contacted agents Shaw and Dempsey in the end. Investigation. 
call resulted in Mrs. Wake being brought into the oldest house for an in-person interview. Trish responsible for it. If Alice Wake is responsible for its appearance or if the door itself relates to AW E35 is paramount. She should be returned to the oldest house, possibly even take into the motel itself to confirm if any other changes occur. So I wonder if Alice was the one who had to do with the shadow breaking loose. Because that person was also, uh, first name was Alice. Vetting machine procedures. No known testing in the investigation sector is currently ongoing. Uh, Foxwood panel. I am generates and stores a variety of material. Uh, discovered in a nursing home. A magic bending machine. The news story reported that the nursing home staff was purposely stocking the machine with distinctive food and objects as a way of raise resident spirits. The bureau response team encouraged this story while confiscating the item. Also, let's do the hotline. Resonance carves its way through the thing that had been Armin, vibrating, remolding. The sound changes the darkness, and the darkness changes the sound. They both changed what remained of Armin. They all turned into something else. A third thing. The sound made darker. The darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched. Stretched as anyone when seen from out of time, like a worm through time. Almost. <laughs> An Ouroboros, a spiral, a maelstrom. The gravity well of a black hole twisting inward, tightening, taking you deeper and deeper to the bottom, the heart, and through to the other side. The third thing said, when you hear this, you will know you're a new you. He said, we build you till nothing remains. He said, under the conceptual reality behind this reality, you must want these ways to drag you away. He said, baby, baby. Baby, yeah, orange peel. The third thing was a monster. It would tear apart any ordinary person crossing his path. Now we crashed in the darkness toward Faden. There was nothing hmm. ordinary about Faden. delivered from our own mind and rewards great rewards by successfully Okay, sure. Fine. You're mine. Hello.
Gotcha. progress have I made? That was the first bit? Jeez. This is going to take a while. Died. Should have captured him actually. Oh, uh, there's a orb thing. Where is that? them too fast. There it is. Mine. My heal your orb. even halfway through this. Jeez. Oh, geez. There we go, you're now you're my
No, you're right. Jeez, I'm only halfway through. When they gave me a little arcade machine thing, I thought it was going to be cooler. Oh. Healing orbs. Where's my dudes? Are they all dead? Guy up here, where to go? Hey. Doing that damage actually? Oh, jeez. Oh, I, no, I still got my bird thing. Winged creature guy. This is taking forever. Warp Goblin. Yeah, the environmental damage is pretty good. <sighs> There's an enemy around here, I just don't know where. I wish I didn't start doing this mission thing, because uh, doing a horde mode is a lot less interesting than what I was doing before. No, that's my guy. Okay. Oh. Yes. And 
Never mind. Orb go, there's Oh, he's underneath. Man, you're also mine now. change up our weapon. Spin. Back to the main story stuff. Slow down more with the uh, loose objects on screen. Yeah, it's actually pretty, um, pretty good with that. I know it's a little framey on the the, the screen, but that's still the way I am having to. Uh, capture this for whatever reason it doesn't want to capture normal unfortunately Ooh. Alright, 
should be the last round of this nonsense. Alright. Get him, my dudes. How dare you try to snipe me? I'll snipe you with a chair. Yes, 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 please, please, please. Savior. Yes, kind of. Oh, there's no one. Orbs are annoying because it heals them constantly. Until I uh, either kill it or make it my eye. Obviously an enemy somewhere. Where? Oh, hi. Oh my god, that was too long. And I thought there would be like, I thought it was going to be an 8-bit Bunzy stuff, but... It was not. What did I get for that? Oh, games are so realistic these days. Uh, okay. It looks like I got a lot of stuff. At least it wasn't for nothing. Okay. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. I think there was one folder. Is there a file over here? Did I already look at that? Yeah, I must have. Okay. Alright. Elevator time. Yeah, it's an arcade game. In the game. Investigations. Jesus, don't scare me like that. If you're talking right now, I can't hear you. It's a one-way system. Try to find an intercom. Langston, it's me, Jesse. I know. I can see you on the monitors. The cameras in there haven't worked since we sealed that sector off a couple years back. Let me guess. You sealed it because of the monster guy. Wait, did you see Dr. Hartman? Jesus, I really wish you hadn't opened that firebreak. 
Okay, listen, you need to find Hartman and kill him before he gets out into the Bureau. That thing is a person? He was a person. We brought him here to study after he was, uh, oh, altered in an AWE. I forget the medical word for what happened, but now light physically hurts him. Do you have a flashlight? No. Uh, a lantern? Headlamp. Boy, a flare gun. Oh, Christmas lights. You could wrap them around your... I don't have any of those. That's funny. Shit. That's the thing. First, okay. uh, in the hallway. I'm sure you'll think of something. I'll keep an eye on you from the Panopticon. This is kind of exciting, right? Maybe from where you're standing. Right. Okay. Well, uh... Break a leg. Oh, why did I say that? Okay. This Hartman thing can't have gotten very far. Let's go flush him out. Hmm. Langston was right. This is kind of exciting. It's just nice to have someone to talk to, you know? Ever since I got put in charge of the Panopticon, people treat me different, like I'm crazy for wanting to work with altered items. People just don't understand the altered items like I do, you know? I don't want to brag, but it does take a very empathetic mind to connect with the items. Doesn't Still, I don't know brag. why people are making it so personal. <laughs> right. I mean, the teams in research handle paranatural materials every day, and no one thinks they're weird. Well, maybe that's not true. Darling is famous for being a bit out there, but when he's weird, it's charming. Altered items really aren't that frightening oh, once man. you get to know them. If you figure out what they like or don't like, you know, what sets them off, then there's nothing to worry about. I guess at the end of the day, we're still just wild animals scared of our own shadows. We're supposed to be on the same team, but sometimes it feels like it's every department for themselves, like it's a race and we're all trying to be number one. If it is a race, though, I'd say Darwin Boy, this looks is bad on stream. ahead of everyone else. He was Trench's golden boy for years, but that relationship has gotten pretty tense, or so I've heard through the grapevine. Not that I spread rumors, just, you know, people talk. Not me, though. I keep my nose to the grind. Too much work to do to focus on those kinds of things. I need to stay focused so I can get my work done and get home to feed Alfred. He's of course, just gonna talk forever, I always make he? it home for meal time, so I have my neighbor check in on Alfred at 7 o'clock. Yep, there. so that was her just telling me he's just gonna yammer on forever. Oh, anything around? Nope, okay. Investigations. Ooh, they sealed it off. Yeah, those regular guys, uh, soldiers didn't have a shot. Ooh, that seems good. Oh, no. Sure. Um. Uh, no, I want the help. That might be better. Um, okay. Deconstruct, 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 deconstruct. Okay, we 
What does seized protection do? Oh. That's weird. That's the darkness right there. Do, 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 do. Clean up the bathroom. There we go. Be a secret hole below. AW loading bay. From Maro AD. Arcade cabinets procedures, so the things I was, uh... Oh, it's something. Um, a distance of 10 feet between the items suppresses their effect. Effect only triggers on physical contact. Uh, Shum, Shum 2, Colger's Revenge. Games were manufactured by Bonco Entertainment. Um... No other shoom cabinets have been found by our investigators. When touching one of the items where it stands, when it, while it stands within 10 feet of its counterpart, the user's mind is transported to a version of their subjective reality that resembles a video game in logic and function. Events from their everyday lives become game-like sequences in which speed and efficiency are paramount. The brain enters a stroke-like state, uh, which only ends after the user finishes their game, at which point they resume normal brain and motor functions. Ha. Huh. Flashlight. 
Oh, wait. Ooh. What the fuck? That's not okay. That was not okay. Bust my light. Ooh, can I turn this on? No. Oh, I need a power cell. Oh, wrong thing. Abilities. I think I might be able to upgrade um, stuff up completely. Oh, that's eight. Hold and launch up to three objects. Uh, I'll save up for that. That seems real good. Surge. Fires at adhesive munitions that detonate when manually triggered. Okay, that's new. Um, let's try that out. Um, search. Um, hmm. Let's do that. Oh, I can only have one slot right now because it's only level one. So let's try this out. That seems that seems strong. Okay. Anything else in here? Well, it looks like that was yeah. All the explosives. the darkened corridor. Okay, I'm running. Ooh. It's too dark in here to fight this thing. Oh.
like I might have to rotate this bridge to get the lights in the right spot. Tubes. You know what? Never mind. I can't do this anymore. Just send this thing to the guys in research. Let them cut it up or whatever they do. You hear that? They're gonna cut you up, you pain in the ass. Spider time! What? I mean, I knew it was an explosion. Where's that sniper? There you are. Ooh. 
There we go. Hmm, <laughs> this place is getting weird. Alright, got a power cell. Floppy boys, uh, the explosion speeds, uh, are real dangerous. Like, I'm practically fully leveled up at this point, but enemies still can give me, uh, hell of a fight. Oh! He is real gross looking. Like whatever force had a hold on Hartman isn't mixing well with the his corruption. Lake did call him the third thing. Okay, I'm just going to freestyle a bit. <clears throat> My mother always said, never talk to strangers. Always. Never. Always. Never. But isn't a stranger just someone you don't know? <coughs> what if the only thing stopping a stranger from being a friend is that word? Stranger. Strange. <coughs> Strange like the noises you hear at night when there is no light and you cannot fight. Strange like a rubber duck. Streamlabs just acting weird in general. Yeah, it's even my webcam feed is weird tonight. Oh, I don't know what's going on. This is modern. So, um, this is modern day. Uh, this is the oldest house, um, which is this paranatural building in the center of the New York that most people can't see. Uh, when people take uh, technology past uh, from a... So, I think it's uh, the 1980s is the end point that if anyone brings in technology that's newer than that... Um, they just um, don't work. So all the technology uh, in the oldest house is from at least the 80s, if not before. Yeah, like uh, there's soldiers like using Tommy guns and whatnot, and because everything else just doesn't operate as it should. A chain letter. <laughs> I remember these. Mom used to say they were evil. Hmm. Better do what it says. You know, just in case. There must be a photocopy around here. Shaded Hartman. Dr. Hartman is the first type 2 shaded individual to be examined alive by the Bureau. Like all shaded individuals, the specimen is constantly shielded by uh, or produces a blank of darkness that makes visual observation difficult. This blank also protects the specimen from harm. During testing, non-lethal ballistics proved ineffective against it. The specimen uses words and phrases that seem to originate from its previous life as a therapist. Some phrases even have been identified as quotes from Dr. Hartman's book, The Creator's Dilemma. This seems to indicate the host's personality remains blank to some degree. For research, pur pur research purposes, Shaded Hartman was reallocated to the Cauldron Link Lodge uh, replica built for blank AEW investigation. Researchers hope a familiar setting may trigger, trigger new behavior that the experiment has yielded no results thus far. Yeah, 
the older tech uh, has uh, some character to it. Oh, this is going to be a boss fight. Um, I can just tell. So I am going to switch from this to grip. And this is Director Faden. It's under range get an ally. Position. He just pops in. Nice to see a director out in the field. Night Springs screenplay, page three. Director steps closer to the horrible entity. He reaches out the steady hand. You are mine now, creature. I will return you to my facility and control your power. Sir, we don't know. The entity instead rushes forward and engulfs the director. He screams in pain as the scientist looks on and does nothing like the coward that he is. Entity subtitled, I am not the one being examined. I am not the one locked inside a prison. Gradually, the director emerges from the entity. His once sparkling eyes are now empty and dull. The scientist rushes to him. Sir, sir, we have to escape. We cannot. We are in control now. I got what I wanted. Uh-oh. Darkness imprisoning me. All that I see. Absolute horror. Ba -ba -ba. Loading bay bags. I think one of my quests was in here. Um, I think there was mold in Yep. 
I was right. So this, um, earlier in the game, there's this mold, um, is spreading and it, uh, face, it has a luring smell and taste, uh, it, like it smells like it's delicious to eat and people can't help themselves and they end up eating it and dying. It's pretty, pretty nefarious. Oh. No. No, it's not. Uh, I feel like I'm missing one still. Let's check our quests. Missions real quick. Uh... the mold or my okay I got them. yeah well all right main quest You hunt down the horrible monster thing. That looks like it's going to close in on me instantly. Oh, is that just a door to make sure I can't bring lights? Ooh, what? Why is the Lunar Lander here? What? Alright, that's cool. And horrible from aid. I'll read that later. What did that do? What did that do? Oh, okay. Another one. Oh, and uh, okay. Um, I, I'm wondering. So it's either this is my theory. Either uh, they staged the moon landing, which I don't. I don't think that's the case. I think the Moonlander became an altered item and uh, got some special properties. Uh, that is my theory right now. Oh, uh, 
Ooh, I can control what direction it goes. So I want it to go back, obviously. Where's this light going? Stay in the light, stay in the light, stay in the light. There we go. Okay, I don't know where this last power cell is though. Um Ooh, that hurts me. Alright. Where is this thing? Alright, let's, let's back this way. ourselves around. Or maybe it's in the, the shelter? No. Oh! That was bad. Oh, right, yep. Yeah. Okay. Whew. No, I didn't expect that either. Uh, that was real mean. Totally fake the moon landing here. Holy shit. There. One less place for him to hide. The gerbil gerbil took the top head? What? What does that even mean? Um light? So it seems like I am uh, basically closing off areas to it uh, by uh, lighting it up. All right, Ati. Was this what you had in mind? No, I God. Uh, uh where 
where's where's the nearest teleport spot? Look like it's down, because I need to get back there. Oh, there's hmm. not worth doing. I mean, I, if I'm here, I might as well. Can I even do that anymore? No, I can't. Uh, unless I got, I got a flashlight somewhere. Okay. Uh, fast travel. There we go. Oh, super effective. The moon actually is full of hell beasts. It could be. We don't know that. We don't know for sure. Uh, until we read these logs, which I am definitely going to do. Uh, Alright. A paranatural entity arrived on Earth by infiltrating the Apollo 14 lunar mission uh, at an unknown point of their voyage. Uh, 32 hours after the return of Apollo 14 command module to the Earth, Bureau was contact contacted by Mr. Blank, a White House senior official, and instructed to send a small team to the Johnson Space Center in Houston. At the base, the team examined the entity and carried out interviews with NASA staff. This is the person they were talking to that was weird. They learned that four astronauts had returned to Earth instead of the expected three. Each human crew member was insistent that the mission left with four members, though they couldn't name the f name the fourth when asked. The entity seemingly affected their memory to make its presence feel unremarkable. The entity was transported to the oldest house for further investigation. An altercation between NASA security and the investigation team occurred upon their arrival. Mr. Blank called to clarify the matter. Though tensions remained high, bureau jur jurisdiction and clearance should be defined more clearly with other other federal agencies. Uh, so yeah, totally. Um, might as well be hell beasts, because uh, that shit is horrifying. So they probably kept uh, this here for uh, testing with whatever they captured. Yes, hello. Oh. The, uh, this is yeah prisoner uh, I am going to read the other stuff before interacting with that guy that thing supplement Paul 14 entity commonly known as Fra underwent a series of physical examinations upon its admittance in the old house. The entity can speak, though its poor grasp of the English language makes it any meaningfully full communication impossible. Interview material can be found at blank. Its physical form consists solely of extravehicular mobility unit spacesuit used by the NASA astronauts, the same model worn by the other crew. This could be an authentic EMU taken from one of the NASA astronauts, though the suit does not bear any of the uh, any wearer's name, or one materialized through blank conversion or possibly blank corporealization. The suit itself is slightly damaged, which is likely due to the fact that the command module did not have a fourth seat for the entity to strap in to during re-entry. The EMU is entirely hollow, and pieces can be removed, though this seemingly seems to agitate the entity. X-rays and spectrographic imaging have shown blank-shaped outlines existing within the suit. For safety reasons, the entity will be contained to a secure cell until more information can be gathered. Alright. Let's talk to the moon person. I got my cat. Hello? Hello. Bring about us today. 
Long roads and no hardly. You are bygone? Uh, sure. Why are you locked up in here? Ah, uh, casual turning. Back and front. And <laughs> Gerbil took the top head. Not being pressed for that. Lady going and loosing back for I? Sorry, I... I think I'm misunderstanding you. What do you want? The head. The head for tales. For reading news, jars, words, and tumble. The reading head. Okay, okay, take it the easy. The reading I'll... head. Uh, I'll take a look. So, maybe it wants something to read. Or a jar. Let's just see what we can find. The reading head? Reading I'm glad it's not just me. Uh oh. Bat bat basketball. Let's, let's give it a shot. It's my birthday, please take some. And peppers? Starch and peppers jar. Reading hat. What do we got? Uh, looks like duct tape. Uh, dra dra dragon. Um, alcohol. Let's, let's try dragon. Maybe it'll like this. It's a, it's a, it has a head. Be like what? My guy. Like cheese? Head cheese? Maybe this will do the trick. you ping pong ahead. Yes, that wasn't it either. Okay, let's check it up in the above office. Also, anything down here? There's always something down here. Uh. Pepper. Yes. B E E. Or B E, not B E. Alien man. He's just a suit. Yeah, reading. Alright. Looks like it's just the stuff in the offices. Oh. Duct tape? I mean, he can read the label. Maybe. Is this it? 
Grady, you are school and dirt for losing. Keep that up, and I won't help you anymore. Uh, you... You talk like... Uh, why you gotta talk like this? And then you gotta be rude. This, yes, did they make it... This will do it. Is it this? I'm ready to be done with this. Did they make it so it's just always the last item? That because that would be funny. Furry clocks, lady. The head. 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 No snacks. Head is top of all up and down. At the top. The top head. Wait, does this thing actually mean head? Head is in a body's head? Where the hell am I gonna find that? And how did it lose it? Alright, uh, let's make this the objecto. Find head. Does it give me any indication? No. No, sector head office? <gasps> oh! That space helmet I saw. That was his head. Okay. So now I know where to go. Then fast travel and sector uh, there we go. Area fifty one game with Mulder as the main character. Oh my god, I haven't thought about that game in years. Yeah, I can see why this would remind you of that. That game was better than it deserved, or like had any right being. I am, uh, dying. Is that what the prisoner meant? I guess there's only one way to find out. Alright, um... There we go. I don't trust this prisoner guy, and that's fair! I don't trust them either. That's why they are staying in that cell. Also, they've been basically uh, been abandoned in here for uh, probably months, if not years, without any food or anything. Because ever this entire chicken station. <laughs> chicken station. Oh, far tastier. Press any button. So the helmet is what you're after, huh? Tubes, snug and grape, pure grapes. 
panel lady. You're welcome, I guess. Did Kirkland lock you up in here? Chief Trouble? Yes. Teddy's Chief around. Trouble. But loan out synapiest. Can gather for goldfishes. No wrinkle. Okay. Well, sounds like you're doing fine in there now. Just make sure you don't go anywhere. Jelly. We still help this guy. Oh, that guy's funny. Best we leave it locked up, though. We yep. have no idea what it is, and we don't need any more problems out here. Agreed. What time is it? 10.43? Alright, just play a little bit longer. Yeah! Uh, I'm glad I don't have to deal with him constantly, because that would be painful. Um, but he's an interesting character. Uh, so let's go. Is it active investigations I want? Yes, I want active investigations. Should make that my primary mission. Uh, third thing, there we go. Damn it, I didn't choose the right warp point. Oh well. Doesn't stop. This has a big sealed door. More tracks. Oh, more of these guys. Control. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, that would also be messed up if it was just people hanging. Yeah, but they just float in the air. There's a, a lot of uh, areas early on in the game where there's just people uh, floating in the air and they're not aggressive or anything. They're just there and they're just chanting. And they're chanting like just uh, stuff that sounds like super evil. Honestly, yes. It's very unnerving, actually. Oh, God. Seas for load speed. Another door! Oh, big book with the fight area too. Um, because you got one of these. Um, sure. Let's probably, let's do this and then Send let's the wrap Ranger it up for now. Hello. Yeah, look at the old gun he's got. Like, World War II era machine gun. Oh, 
sucks for you. Seems like it. Okay. That wasn't so bad. Uh, which way do I go? Not seeing. Where I came from. Yeah, that's where I came from. I went bam, bam, bam. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, here we go. magazine yeah got yeah, that sort of like drum magazine nonsense all right uh, read this brain missing to the good for nothings at security check I know you took part in part of my brain when you put me through that metal detector. I'm not stupid. I know what they're really for. I don't know what it is you're taking a part of my brain causes me to lose my memories or lose sleep. I've been told if you lose sleep, you lose everything else too. That's where you trick us regular people. Now I don't know which it is and I can't remember what you did to me, but I can tell you all this much. I don't find this funny at all. I want my memories back, and you can be sure that the next time I visit the Baltimore Washington International Thurgood Marshall Airport, I will come and find you and make you fix what you broke. Sincerely, I don't think I will be signing this with my real name. Like I said, I'm not stupid. You can just mind your own business. So these are um, the Bureau gets letters, uh, intercepts letters uh, that are strange and unusual I like that
Oh, there's. sure where I'm going. Oh, jeez. That's a mole person. There's a mold nearby. I can hear. Almost got it all. Oh, Night Spring screenplay. Burn blob. Um, the robust director sh shoves the nerd like scientist aside and heads for the portal control panel. He slams the on button with a determined fist. Uh, dangerous red. No AC, no mold spore circulation. Might get a bit stuffy in here. Oh, you're my, you're my friend. Yeah, they get real gross. Very last of us. Okay. This looks like a jail cell. Christ. Did the Hartman thing do all this? That's a lot of questions. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. So blue goes here. So I need to get a bunch of them. So red. So one of these, okay. This just needs two. Let's get this while it's open. I already uh, have uh, the immunity to that uh, from uh, an, uh, one of the original mold missions. Uh, you are not immune to it at first, and it does lots of damage, and uh, then you uh, get immunity to it, thankfully, because, uh, good lord. So that's four... So orange. Where was that last one? To where's my third? Others. Orange, orange, orange. Alright, let's do blues.
Yeah, the movie Annihilation's pretty wild. That movie's so good. Um, okay, so how do I get... Okay, this is yellow. Alright. And y'all. Uh -huh. So I only needed two? Yeah. Reminder. The law of three also applies to all faucets within the oldest house. Be mindful and don't cause any aquatic misconduct. Thank you for your attention. Service fence? Okay. Why is that missing? strong. You just fling them around. Ooh, this is the train they had written about where... They had dark corners to hide in. killed a bunch of people trying to make. Okay, let's get the lights on this. and clear him out. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. what the game plan is. Ah! Not a fan. Not a fan, not a fan. Activating it. Oh, that was easier than I expected. He's real gross looking. Where is it running off to now? Dead in its tracks. Uh, let's. Let's do this, because it's going to be this train's mission. Yep, train altered item. Oh. Alright, let's find... See if we can find any, uh... Notebooks. Ew. Let's go pure. Uh -huh. What's up here?
All right, is this uh, the train supplement? Um, the Bureau has gathered concrete evidence that the train derailment was, in fact, the work of paracriminal group known as Blank, which, according to the Bureau's intel, has shown concerning interest in experimenting with the artificial manufacturing of altered materials. Knowing the group largely operates in the American Midwest, the Bureau worked alongside the FBI to ascertain their mo movements and rendezvous locations. Uh, this cooperation provided agents with information that led to an arrest in conjunction with the AW case. Under suspicion of involvement, Blank was brought in for questioning. The interrogation performed by Agent Blank resulted in a suspect being kept in a holding cell for two days without food in breach of the Paracriminal Rights Act. Afterwards, the suspect confessed to his involvement in the Blank group and provided information on other members in exchange for his freedom. Interesting. Oh, damn it. Anything else around here? Okay. All aboard. Oh. Okay. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard the Eagle Limited bound for Chicago. Please have your tickets ready and enjoy the ride. Next stops, Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. That's Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. Tickets, please. Tickets. Uh, do I have to do it in order? Good All right. afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and, and welcome aboard the Eagle Limited bound for Chicago. Please have your tickets ready and enjoy the ride. Next stops, Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. That's Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. Tickets, please. Good evening, tickets. all you fine-looking folks. Here's some smooth tunes to ease your minds and please your ears as we wait for this. Pretty dark ride, huh? But I hope you're done replaying it now. Oh. Did not notice that guy earlier. Alright, any other labs in here? I guess. Alright, let's do a save, and let's call it for tonight. Alright, thanks for joining me. I wish I knew why. Um, I don't know if it's Streamlabs, because even my webcam is really laggy tonight. So it might must be Streamlabs that's really causing the issues, but I'll have to look into that. But, um... Yeah, thanks for joining me, man. This game is great, and um, there hasn't been as much uh, Alan Wake in this DLC as I wanted. Um, 
But I guess I'm dealing with his shadow monster thing, so I guess that counts. But yeah, thanks for joining me. Bye.